So we're starting this video off with a pretty cool Lethal Company mod. This is the LC Doom mod, which allows you to actually play Doom in the terminal of your ship. This is a really cool homage to one of the most iconic games for gamers that went way back. If you played Doom before, this will feel just right at home. Now, there was another mod called Advanced Company that allowed you to literally play Doom with a controller scrap item. But unfortunately, that mod got removed from Thunderstore, so this is your next best option for now. This LC Doom mod is a client-sided mod, so it only works for you after install. It. For mod number 2, this is the Lethal Casino mod and it is probably the best gambling mod out there. Now as a disclaimer, I do not condone gambling in real life. This mod aims to just provide a little fun entertainment for you and your friends in Lethal Company if you so wish to. You can gamble your scrap at the casino for a chance to multiply your earnings. This includes iconic casino games such as the slot machines, roulette, and even blackjack. A very fun mod for you to mess around with if you have nothing else to do at the moment. Go ahead and try it out as everyone needs to install this for it to work. As for mod number 3, this is the Infected Company mod. With this mod installed, either one or more of your crewmates will get infected. You cannot trust anyone as all you must do now is to collect scraps and survive. The gameplay of this mod goes extremely deep as it adds new infected gameplay, new items such as the incendiary grenade, and many more. So anyways, the overall idea of the mod are as follows. One of the crew members are randomly chosen to be the infected, and you will not know who it is. And if you are not the infected, your objective is to collect enough scrap to meet the newly added round quota, not to be confused with the existing profit quota. The round quota is the total value of collector scraps the survivors must meet in a single day. The survivors will win if they are able to meet the round quota and survive. And if you are the infected, the objective is to prevent the survivors from meeting the round quota. You're given many tools to do so, such as becoming a monster yourself. Now as mentioned, this mod actually adds new gameplay phases, which is why it is a pretty huge mod. It's gonna take some time to go through everything, but I highly recommend for you to head to the mod's website yourself and read out all in detail, as I haven't even mentioned some of the new features and abilities yet, as it will take quite some time. Overall, it is a pretty impressive game mode mod. Try this one out with your friends as everyone needs to install this mod for it to work. Now moving on to the fourth mod. This is the Freddy Krueger mod, and it has Freddy Krueger as an entity to look out for in Little Company. This fully animated and customized enemy brings a new special sleep mechanic and targets only players that are asleep, leaving the awake ones alone. He is invisible, unhearable, and uninteractable to players who are awake. But when a player is close to sleepwalking, they will hear a lullaby counting down to 10 before officially falling asleep. This is when Freddy will start to hunt you down. He can go both indoors and outdoors seamlessly and has multiple behaviors such as sneaking out on players or chasing you with its claws when your sleep level is too high. If you want to try this mod out, just make sure that everyone else installed it for it to work. And for the next mod, this is the Friend Patches mod, and it is a pretty simple quality of life mod that fixes late joining players having the unknown name. Plus, it also has the ability to see players you played with in the recently played interface of Steam. This is very useful if the in-game open profile button doesn't work, which happens quite some time. Again, a simple mod that keeps the friendship alive. This mod is client-sided, so it only works for you after installing it. And for the next mod, check out these videos right here as you may have missed out on something you're looking for. I'll see you there.